this video is intended solely for educational purposes and is designed to provide information on the subject of hacking for educational and informational purposes only. The content presented is not meant to encourage or endorse any illegal activities. The creators of this video disclaim any liability for the misuse or misinterpretation of the information presented herein. Users are encouraged to use their discretion and exercise caution while applying any concepts or techniques discussed in this video. Hi welcome back to your channel. Today I will show a potential attack scenario where an attacker can remotely access a Windows machine using PowerShell Empire, a post-exploitation framework. The attack involves several steps, and I'll explain each in detail, along with preventive measures. PowerShell Empire is a comprehensive post-exploitation framework featuring both a pure PowerShell 2.0 Windows agent and a pure Python Linux OS X agent. It combines the functionalities of previous projects, PowerShell Empire and Python Empire, offering secure communication channels and a flexible architecture. Empire enables the execution of PowerShell agents without reliance on PowerShell.exe, facilitates rapid deployment of diverse post-exploitation modules such as Keyligers and Mimikatz, and employs adaptable communication methods to evade network detection. Starkiller, a Voegis-based web application, serves as the front-end interface for accessing the PowerShell Empire server, providing users with graphical tools to interact with agents, manage modules, and visualize Empire data through dashboards. To start Empire, run the PS Empire server command in one terminal window make sure you cd into the Empire directory first and wait until you see a server prompt, indicating that the Empire server is ready. Then, start the client in a different window by running the PS Empire client command. After completing these steps, Empire should be running. After starting the server and client we will open Starkiller the graphical interface of PowerShell Empire using the local link provided. The default port that the API starts on is 1337 with the default username, Empire admin and password, password 123. No listener is currently active at the beginning, but don't worry, we are now at the listener interface. It's simple just follow these steps. Choose an HTTP listener on port 80 locally. It will only work on port 80, so make sure to disable all services using port 80, such as Apache. The listener will be executed by pressing the submit button. Launchers and stagers, while technically two different parts of the Empire framework, serve the same purpose, downloading and executing the agent on the compromised host. In this tutorial, start by creating a new stager and select the type as Windows Launcher Bat. For the payload that you're creating, choose a name, I've chosen Tessin for this example. Next, select the previously created list named HTTP. After pressing submit, a payload will be generated. This payload needs to be sent to the victim using reverse engineering techniques. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've selected Windows 10 as the target machine. For this tutorial, we will assume that the target downloaded the batch file somewhere on the internet or from the spam it received. In Windows 10 the target tries to open the batch file that will connect again to Empire on Kali. When the connection is established the name of the connection is displayed on Starkiller with details such as the machine name, username, and IP. To collect information like username and password we all have to first open another pop-out then choose the module to run on the target machine PowerShell collection toast it just change verify creds to true, finally press submit and wait for the victim who has no choice but to enter their correct details which will be fished by the hacker and displayed in the task output.
To have administrator access to this machine we must use the PowerShell module Privsk bypass walk choose lean listener HTTP then press submit. A pop-up window appears on the desktop of the target machine press yes or no gives the same results an elevation of privilege which is displayed under a new name with an admin icon above it. Now we will interact with this connection to activate the RDP connection using the PowerShell management enable RDP module. The activation is successful and we already have the coordinates of the machine, the username and password. Now we can access this machine and open its desktop remotely using RDP protocol using the command sudo sfreerdbu indicates the username p its password v is the IP of this machine press enter and bomb we have administrator access to this machine. The operation is successful we are on the target machine we can access all its features without the user knowing. To mitigate the risks associated with PowerShell Empire and similar post-operation frameworks, consider implementing the following preventive measures. Ensure that systems are regularly updated with the latest security patches to mitigate vulnerabilities that could be exploited by PowerShell Empire. Endpoint Protection implement endpoint protection solutions, such as antivirus software and endpoint detection and response EDR tools, to detect and prevent malicious activity associated with PowerShell Empire. By implementing these preventative measures, you can improve your resilience to potential threats posed by PowerShell Empire and similar post-exploitation frameworks. Exploring the intricate layers of cyber threats, we've navigated through a potential attack scenario leveraging PowerShell Empire. From inception to execution, the steps unveiled the alarming ease with which attackers can infiltrate Windows machines remotely. However, armed with knowledge, we can fortify our defenses. By adhering to proactive measures like regular system updates and robust endpoint protection, we erect formidable barriers against malicious exploits. Let's empower ourselves to thwart these digital adversaries and safeguard our digital realms from incursion. I hope you found this exploration into PowerShell Empire insightful and empowering. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.